Calculate the sperm and one correlation coefficient of the data below. We are calculating the sperm and one correlation coefficient of this data. Now, the first thing we are going to do is to write out our formula. 1 minus 6 multiplied by summation d squared over n bracket n squared minus 1. Then, after that, we are going to draw. Our x is 6, 4, 3, and 7. Our y is 8, 12, 7, and 13. Then let me number it. 1, 2, 3, 4. After doing that, the next thing we're going to do is arrange our x in a descending order and also arrange y in a descending order. x in a descending order. You can have 6, 7, 6, Four and three. Then we arrange y in a descending order. Arranging y in a descending order, we have 13 first. 18, 8, 7. No, sorry. We have 13, 12, 8, and 7. Then after that, we rank our x. We rank our x. Now, how do we rank x? The first number we have for x is six. Then, what is x? What is the one for x in the descending? What is the one for six in the descending order? Is number two. six is in number two. So we have number two. The second one is four. What is the one for four in the descending order? Three. Then the next one is three. What is the one for three in the descending order? Four. And the last one is. The last one is 7. The one for 7 in a descending order is 1. After that, we rank y as well. In a dis we rank y as well. So, the first one for y, the first number for y is 8. So, what is the rank for y in a descending? What is the rank for 8 in a descending order? Is 3. And the next one is 12. What is the rank for 12? In a descending order, two. The next one is seven. The one for seven in a descending order is four. And the last one is se the last one is thirteen. The one for thirteen in a descending order is one. After that, we solve for our difference in the two ones. Now the difference between two and three is one. The difference between 3 and 2 is 1. The difference between 4 and 4 is 0. And the difference between 1 and 1 is 1. Then look for our d square. 1 times 1 is 1. 1. So the difference between 1 and 1 is 0. So this thing. So 0, 0. After that, we can solve our summation d will now be equal to 2. We can now input our parameter into this. We have the correlation coefficient will be equals to 1 minus 6 multiplied by 2. Summation d squared is 2 divided by our hand is 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 multiplied by n squared, 4 squared minus 1. 1 minus 4 here 2. 1, 3, so we can have 3 over, 4 square is, 4 square is 16, 16 minus 1 is 15, then we have 1 minus, we have 1 here, we have 5 here, 1 minus 1 over 5, then the answer, our answer will now be equal to 4 over 5. So the spermal and correlation coefficient of this data is 4 over 5.